Hi, Vicky. Are you up yet? Yes. What's wrong, Hannah? I just want to ask about Jane. How's everything going with her? Is she okay? I can't wait until I can meet her face to face. You don't know how eager I am to prepare for this child. What? Are you... like, for real? You're telling the truth, aren't you? It's just... unbelievable! Of course, I'm speaking the truth. What's wrong about that? Is it a sin for a mother-in-law to care about her granddaughter? Well, nothing. But it's so strange of you to suddenly ask about my child. Remember the first time you saw her? You said she was disgusting just because it's not a boy. You even insulted me, saying that I was a stupid moron and I didn't deserve your kindness. And you even said that it was a waste of your time to allow me to come here and be your daughter-in-law. But just now, you changed 180 degrees and asked about my child. Well, I was really taken aback. Oh, come on, Vicky. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like I insulted you every single day. People change, you know? And besides, I was just expressing some genuine concern for my granddaughter. Is that so hard to believe? Well, forgive me if I find it hard to believe after all the hurtful things you've said in the past. It's not easy to forget those words, Hannah. And now, suddenly, you expect me to think you care? It's just... hard to wrap my head around. Look, Vicky, I admit I may have said some things out of frustration. But at the time, I was so surprised that I had to say those words. You know me. I was not the kind of severe mother-in-law. Although I did say those words, I have never meant something like that. It's horrible, don't you think? Well, it's still so hard for me to believe that you truly think so. You used to show your anger towards me. And what you're doing right now is completely on the contrary. It's enough for me to become suspicious. Do you have any motive to do this? Are you hiding any plan behind? No way! Who am I to do these things to you and my dear granddaughter? I'm just wanting to know more about her current situation. You know how much I love her, right? And talking about your own mother-in-law like that is not a good thing at all. You should actually change your attitude. That would be better for you and for my son as well. He married you to be his wife, so you had better act like one. Clear? Oh my god, here we go again with your lesson. Stop this. I'm already tired of your constant complaints. So what's your purpose for contacting me today? Do you want me to make dinner or wash the clothes? Well, you don't have to, because I have just finished them all. No need for you to be concerned about it. Oh, no, of course. Don't think bad about me like that. I'm just asking if you need any assistance in taking care of the baby, because I know that you're always so busy with your own work. So it's really challenging to look after the baby properly, right? I really understand that. I used to find it really hard to take good care of John. I was not under while working, and he just couldn't stop disturbing me. I'll never let it happen to you, my dear daughter-in-law. That's why I decided to come here and help you with the child every day from next week. Isn't it exciting? And you could also have more time to spend on handling your work and helping my son as well. This is impossible. You're being really, really weird. Don't you know that? You? Offer to help me take care of my daughter? Every day? I have to say that it's too good to be true. There must be something that makes you want to do this. If you're forced to do it, then you don't have to. I can raise the child on my own, with my husband. I can't believe you're being so ungrateful, Vicky. I'm only doing this because I care about you. As your mother-in-law, it's my duty to ensure that my daughter-in-law is living a happy and fulfilled life. But instead of appreciating my concern, you're treating me like this? How dare you? Ugh, Hannah, can you please tone it down a bit? Your so-called concern feels more like an invasion of my personal space. Just because you're my mother-in-law doesn't give you the right to dictate how I should live my life or expect gratitude for it. Oh, I see how it is. I offer my help, my precious time and energy. And all I get in return is this disrespectful attitude from you. I can't believe that you have the audacity to say that I don't know how to behave. I was only trying to lend a helping hand, and this is how you repay me? Hannah, it's not about your intentions. It's about boundaries. You need to understand that just because we're family doesn't mean you get to meddle in every aspect of my life. I appreciate your concern, but there's a fine line between caring and overstepping. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, come on. Are you going back to your usual complaints again? It's just ridiculous. Well, fine. 
I don't need you to accept because John asked me to do this for you. So I'll just do it anyway. Wait, what? John asked you to do this? But why? He didn't say anything to me about this. Unbelievable. Ha! <laughs> it proves that you're not as important as you think. See you next week. John! John! Where are you? I'm looking for you all around the house. But I couldn't see you anywhere. Answer me! What have you been doing all day? Ugh, not again. What now? Couldn't you just give me one second to rest? I'm with my colleagues at work right now. We're having a good time together. And you have just ruined that. What's that urgent thing you're gonna tell me? Be quick, cause I'm about to get back to my friends. What? Are you still out there drinking beer with your colleagues? Oh my god, I can't believe it. John, you're a dad now, and you're supposed to be with our child right now. Not with your good-for-nothing friends. They're spoiling you. Can't you see? What? How dare you say that about my best friends? Have they done anything wrong to you? How could you judge them like that? I'll never let you do that. You're lucky I'm not at home right now. Or else I'll punish you for demeaning my true friends. Oh yeah? Then what can you do about it? Hit me? Slap me as usual? Well, I'm too familiar with those stupid things. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> Brave, huh? Ridiculous. Now, I'm asking you. Why did you ask your mom to take care of our baby? Don't you still remember how she used to treat Jane? She said that Jane didn't deserve to live in this house. And your mom even forced me to abandon her to give birth to a boy. How could a vicious woman like that offer to take care of Jane? It's unreasonable. Don't you think so? I don't see anything wrong with that. My mom loves Jane, and this is the way she expresses her love. That's all. And let's see, she's been caring for our baby for three months now. Jane's still growing really well. You just can't stop judging my mother without any clear reasons. What? That's absurd. Three months? Are you really sure about that? She just came to our house the first week. The last two weeks, well, I couldn't see her anywhere. It's just strange she acts like that. Really? Well, yes. Ugh, anyway... You'll never notice anything. You're always too busy with your so-called true friends. I've never heard you ask about our child, even one time. It's so irresponsible for you not to care about Jane just a little bit. You don't understand how disappointed I am to see you like this. I do care about Jane, but my workload is really heavy, so it's hard for me to handle everything in the house. You're my wife. You're supposed to understand this. Oh my god, I can't believe my ears. Are you blaming me for everything? It's just ridiculous. During our first days, you were never like this. Now you have totally changed. And speaking of which, I noticed that our savings fund to buy a house from the first days has been reducing. A lot. Of course, it's not my fault as I rarely use that amount of money. It's just you who can access it. So tell me, is it you who has been using it? Um, yes. Well, and what for? Is it for your friends again? No, well... So for whom? Well, I gave it to mom. Wait, what? Could you say that again? You gave our savings money to mom? But why? I just can't understand. Well, if I didn't give her money, she would not come here and take care of our child. What the hell was that? I can't believe it. So the reason for her attitude is money, right? That's why she didn't come here the last two weeks, is that true? Because you didn't have enough money to give her? Come on, Vicky. She's our mom. And Jane's grandma. It's nothing if you give her a little bit of allowance, don't you think? A little bit of allowance, you say? That's just ridiculous and unreasonable. Why do you have to do that? I don't need anyone to help me raise my own daughter. There's no point in wasting our money on these things. I am Jane's mother. I know what's the best for my own child. Well, I don't see things like that. My mother actually helped you a lot in having an eye on the baby. It's you who is too ungrateful to realize that. What a pity that I married you. My mom used to tell me that you couldn't do anything for this house except for hanging around and being a leech. Just see what you did for us. Nothing. Okay, fine. That's all you've ever thought about me, right? I can't believe that you could think about me that way. Even when we've been living together for more than three years. Oh my god. It's hard to accept this. You're the most terrible husband I've ever seen. Ah, what a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that terrible of a husband. Happy now? I give money to my own mother and it's a guilt. And what about you? Always roaming around with your stupid work. Actually, you owe my mom. 
She took good care of Jane when you were out there doing stupid things. What? How dare you? I can't take this anymore. Ugh, cut it out. I'm gonna hang off now. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, just fine. As long as you just don't disturb my happy time. So, we're okay, right? I gotta come back to my friends now. They're waiting for me. Ugh, whatever. You're nothing but a problem. Hey, Vicky. Are you still at your workplace right now? I have something to talk to you about. Yes, sure. I'm working. What's wrong? Well, embrace yourself to hear this. I'm afraid that you could faint if I say this. Well, my husband and your husband moved out of the house. He filed for the divorce petition, signed it, and left it on the table. Your job is just to sign and submit it to the court. Easy, right? Wait a minute. Hold the phone, stop the presses. I'm utterly flabbergasted, dumbfounded, and completely unable to fathom what you're saying. Are you seriously telling me that you're leaving? I mean, seriously? Seriously? This is beyond belief. I can't wrap my mind around it. What on earth did I do to deserve this treatment? Have I committed some grave sin that warrants such an abandonment? Don't you understand the concept of fairness? It's patently unfair to subject me to this kind of emotional turmoil. Well, from where I'm standing, there's absolutely nothing unfair happening here. In fact, it's your own stubbornness that has led us down this path forcing me to make the difficult decision to sever ties and relocate to a faraway place. Can't you comprehend that? Hold on, just a moment. You're accusing me of being stubborn? Stubborn about what, may I ask? I've followed each and every instruction you've given me, without question or hesitation. I've even entrusted you with the care of my own flesh and blood, my precious child. And what really takes me aback is the fact that John never breathed a word about this impending divorce. It's all so peculiar and suspicious. Did you force him into this? Manipulate him into betraying me? Even if I had, what difference would it make? Absolutely nothing. The fact remains that he divorced you, regardless of any external influences. You need to come to terms with this reality. Accept it and disappear from our lives like a puff of smoke vanishing into thin air. Forever and ever. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? You're just gonna peace out and leave me hanging? After everything I've freaking done for you? That's just mind-blowing, I swear! I can't wrap my head around why you'd stoop so low and resort to this kind of behavior. Well, if you're looking for some kind of forgiveness or reconciliation, sorry to burst your bubble, but that ship has sailed, my friend. We've already packed our bags, hopped on a plane, and jetted off to jolly old England. We're gonna soak up all the amazing moments this place has to offer. Without you, of course. Haha, <laughs> can you believe it? Anyway, hate to break it to you, but you're not exactly a top priority for us anymore. We'll be just fine living our best lives right here. And oh yeah, don't even think for a second that you'll be able to track us down. I'm keeping our address under lock and key, so forget about it. Got that loud and clear? But... Oh, I forgot to tell you. We've taken away all of your precious things in the house. Money, accessories, everything. Well, we still need money to live, right? And you seem not to spend money on anything. So just let me spend them for you. <laughs> and we've decided that we'll use your saving money in the back also. Well, it's a really huge amount of money. So it would be just enough for us to live for years, don't you think? Are you seriously planning to dip into my hard-earned savings too? That's beyond rude. It's downright disrespectful. How could you be so heartless, especially to your own daughter-in-law? I should have never married John and stepped foot into this house in the first place. These three years living here have been an absolute nightmare. Well, if you're not happy with the situation, then why don't you just pack your bags and go back to your oh-so-dear parents? Oh, and make sure to bring your utterly useless daughter along. Because seeing her face every single day drives me absolutely mad. Even with all the money in the world, I can't seem to muster an ounce of affection for her. Uh, if only she were a boy, maybe things would be different. Who knows? Oh, so now you're beginning to insult your own granddaughter? Unbelievable. I can't believe you could be so unreasonable and utterly irresponsible. You're nothing but a two-faced mother-in-law. In fact, you're the worst mother I've ever had the misfortune of encountering. Scratch that. You're not even a mother. You're a terrible monster. Blah, blah, blah. 
Whatever. Just continue with your stupid talking. Just say whatever you want. But what could you do about it? Nothing. So say until you're tired. And I'm not there to hear you anymore. Well, 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 Hannah. You've really outdone yourself this time. You've managed to surprise me yet again. It's crystal clear that you have no interest in hearing a single word from me. And you know what? That's perfectly fine by me. Great, actually. You want to pack your bags and make a grand exit? By all means, go ahead. I'm not about to beg you to stick around. Feel free. I'm totally fine with that. I'll cut ties with you from now on. You're no longer my mother-in-law. And quite frankly, I couldn't be happier about it. I knew it. Right from the beginning. You never deserved a good treatment from us. And if you leave, then it's just a matter of time. Get the damn out and don't even expect to appear in front of our faces one more time. Goodbye and never see you again. Vicky! Vicky! Answer your phone! Hurry up! You have to explain this to me. I can't believe you could do this to us. Vicky! Are you ignoring me? Oh, hi. Who are you then? Are you a stalker? You're making me scared. Ugh, I hate receiving calls from strangers like this. No, Vicky, I'm Hannah. Your mother-in-law, remember? You must still remember me, right? It's been just two months. How could you be so forgetful like that? Ugh, you're such a naughty daughter-in-law. It's a shame I keep you in this house and let you mess around in this house. Ah, you're Hannah? I remember now. Okay, so what? What's the purpose of saying these things? You moved out and spent time in England instead. We also cut ties. We're no longer mother and daughter-in-law. Vicky, I can't believe you could be that heartless. We used to be so close, didn't we? We shared countless memories and experiences together. So naturally, you're supposed to care about me, right? I mean, that's how it's supposed to work, isn't it? Ugh, here we go again with your never-ending nonsense talking. I've honestly had enough of it. Just spit it out already. I don't have time to waste on your ramblings. Get to the point, Hannah. Well, I just want to ask you about your savings account. What have you done with it? What do you really mean? Oh, right. It's that I couldn't withdraw any money out of it. Yesterday, I could easily take it out. But now they say that the account has been locked. I need an explanation for this. Hurry! Oh, I understand now. And yes, of course, it's me who locked the bank account. You see, I don't really have a pressing need to use that amount of money at the moment, so I decided to lock it up. Simple as that. How dare you, Vicky? How could you do something like that to me and your ex-husband? We've shown you nothing but kindness and generosity. We've let you stay in our house. We've cared about you. We've even extended our care to your daughter. Isn't that enough for you to show a little bit of consideration in return? Well, let me make this crystal clear, Hannah. I don't have any bond to you guys anymore. We've cut ties, remember? We're no longer connected in any way, shape, or form. So, whatever I decide to do with my own money is entirely my own choice. Ugh, you crooked brat! You're getting on my nerves! It's just unacceptable, don't you think? What a pity I kept you here from the first days! And now, when we're facing difficulties, you decide to ignore and not even lend a helping hand. You... You're so ungrateful. What? I did everything for you. I let you spend my money all these years. John is so useless that his salary is not enough to pay for the electricity alone. Everything in this house that you got all comes from me. You even plan to steal the rest of my money also. So tell me, who's the ungrateful person here? Oh, so now you're blaming everything on me? It's one of your dirty habits, right? All good things come from you. But the bad ones derive from others, and in particular, your own in-law family, right? I'm to blame for all the troubles, right? Sure. Who else could be responsible for this mess apart from you and your freeloading son? I mean, come on, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Let me tell you what's on my mind. Instead of constantly leeching off of me and depending on my resources, why don't you two actually take some initiative and find a job? Get out there and start working to earn your own money. It's about time you become self-sufficient and stop relying on others. Well, Vicky, the thing is, we've become so reliant on using your money that we're not sure what to do without it. 
it's become a sort of comfort zone for us. But hey, let's not forget that you earn a lot of money, right? So sparing us a little bit of that shouldn't be such a difficult thing for you to do. I mean, it's not like it would make a huge dent in your finances, right? Don't you think it's only fair to help out families in need? What? Are you serious right now? How could you be so bold and rude as to ask for my money? Especially after you and your son left me and abandoned me here. It's unbelievable! Well, let me tell you something, Hannah. I see through all of your schemes and manipulations. I'm not that naive girl who used to listen to all of your orders and do whatever you wanted me to. I've grown stronger and wiser, and I won't let myself be taken advantage of anymore. Oh my gosh! So you decided to not help us at all? That's disappointing, I have to say. Anyway, Vicky, please listen to me. I don't have anywhere to go right now. We spent up all the money that we brought along. And now, when we check the account, it's locked. You must understand how shocked we were. So could you please give us some mercy and give us a little bit of your money? Say, just about $2,000. What do you think? Oh no, I won't. Mark my word, you abandoned me? Then now I'll do just the same to you. Listen and listen well. I'm not giving you a single dime. Prepare to live your poor, miserable life. <laughs> so long. No, you can't leave us like this. I'm really sorry for what happened. Please, forgive me. Vicky! After that, I blocked everything from Mrs. Hannah and John because they just continued calling me day by day and made me irritated. Later on, I heard that they were having a really poor life in England. Without any financial support, they then had to go out there and work trivial jobs to maintain their lives. They used to come back and beg me in front of my house's door, but it was no use. They're nothing but disgusting parasites to me. Determined to break free from their toxic presence, I made the decision for me and my daughter to move out of my in-law's house and rented a small apartment of my own. It was a liberating moment. Finally being able to escape their clutches and start living life on my own terms. With the money I had saved up, my daughter and I embarked on an incredible journey. Traveling to numerous breathtaking countries. Let me tell you, it was nothing short of amazing. Exploring new cultures, indulging in delicious cuisines, and immersing myself in unforgettable experiences. It was a true testament to the freedom and happiness I had found. Me and my daughter. That's just enough.